हेलो फ्रेंड्स वैशाली हियर वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होप ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे आई हैव माय डीटी पोस्ट फॉर इट्स सी एंड आई एम सो सुपर एक्साइटेड एंड हैप्पी दैट इट इज़ माय सेकंड टर्म विद देम एंड टुडे आई हैव एन ऑल्टर्ड प्रोजेक्ट अ बर्ड हाउस व्हिच आई हैव ऑल्टर टू अ टेबल लैम्प सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड रिसेंटली इट्स सी हैज़ अ लॉट ऑफ बेजिस विच आर ऑफ पाइन वोड एंड दे आर ग्रेट टू वर्क विथ Now pine wood has lovely grains and textures which you wouldn't want to hide. So I started first with painting the bird house but I diluted the chalk paint to a very large extent by mixing loads of water to it. And then I just gave a rough wash to the entire bird house. And as you can see I am wiping it again with a damp cloth where I found excess paint. In this way I covered the entire surface of the bird house the roof and the walls both such that i get the grayish color on it but at the same time the wood grains are still seen so this is how i went about doing the whole thing now uh, i have used certain general craft materials from the store like the cardboard tube and the raw wood slices these are uh, uh, you know great to add for the composition and dimension to the entire project i have adhered them using heavy gel medium now let's talk about the heavy gel medium here heavy gel medium is a great product and a great medium of mixed media by which you can adhere any kind of material may it be metal may it be fabric clay uh, loads of things can be adhered one on top of each other like in a layering project and it adheres permanently the pro it will not fall off so here i have used it to create this composition which remains strong and permanent it takes a little bit of trying time but yes the adhering is very strong and it remains permanent uh, heavy gel medium is available in both matte and gloss finish so as per your project requirement you can select the one that you wish to now here you see me adhering the wooden slices the raw wooden slices and the cardboard tubes i've cut them to size as per requirement and adhered with the gel medium now i even chose to have a chipboard fence which again i kind of um uh, cut and made it to size as per my requirement and then i have painted it with black chalk paint later i plan to do crackle effect over it so i wanted the black to be seen through the cracks so here is a crackle paste now crackle paste is again a very great medium by which you can create a crackle effect it's a white paste like like your any other modeling paste you can mix color to it before applying and at the same time you can apply it with brush with palette knife and even uh, work around it uh, with stencil so here i have uh, applied it one thing about the crackle medium is thicker your layer the bigger will be the cracks and thinner your layer the finer will be the cracks you have to let it dry naturally for the cracks to appear so here i have um, applied the crackling medium over the entire fence and i would be leaving it to dry i want a rustic look to the entire bird house and that's why the gray color and the crackle effect i even again worked on the roof using the same cardboard tubes and the wooden slices and created further depth to it now coming to the next product which i have used is the fiber paste oh i love this product fiber paste is um, you know it gives that fiber it has those fibers inside which give the fibrous look and uh, those fibers a uh, fiber texture can be further highlighted so wherever you want a rustic feel uh, this is the great product to use so you are have adhere uh, i have applied it with palette knife over all those cardboard tubes you can apply it with brush as well again coming back to the crackle paste i have applied it at the joints of the uh, planks as you see here in the video and as it has dried wonderful cracks have come in now uh, that i have done at a different randomly at different places on the roof and on the sides now the next step is now i wanted to add further color to the entire thing now again <coughs> the idea is the same that i do not want the wood grain uh, grains to be uh, uh, hidden by the paint so basically i have taken a brush which is a little slightly hardened and i'm kind of doing a dry brushing thing with it here i have used hydrangea lawn the it's a wonderful bluish color which i am adding over the uh, basically here the colors that i am having in mind 
is uh, some blue some yellow and a little bit of uh, a little bit of moss um, light green you know the marsh green that the store has so that is the color scheme that i have in mind keeping that i dry brushed with hydrangea lawns first and now it's um, the yellow color the lemon chiffon so that's how i am building colors over the entire house uh, most of uh, i am doing that both on the roof and on the walls of the bird house so i i am adding colors now dry brushing with dry brushing i'm just building color one on top of each other very light handed and a very feather handed way of working you do not have to take loads of color as you see me I've, i'm taking the color on my mat then rubbing my brush on it again removing the excess color before bringing it to the surface so in that way i'm dry brushing over the entire area and you can see the color building now <clears throat> uh, the next i've taken a brown a light brownish color uh, and that basically i'm doing only on those um, wooden the raw wooden pieces that i have adhered not kind of everywhere so i have chosen spots where i want to like i have um, done that on the wooden slices here and not on the entire roof so i've kind of i know in my mind as to what kind of colors that i'm moving towards now this is color splash again one of the um, uh, if you can say the uh, in mixed media uh, you have spray colors so the store has some real uh, great alcohol splash as well as color splash this what i'm using is the water based color splash which can be diluted further with water you can blend two colors with um, by spritzing water so here i'm um, spraying that on the crackled area basically and let it flow over the roof i've not done the splashing on my walls it's only the crackled areas where i have um, you see me uh, applying the color splash the color here used is charcoal and as a result the cracks basically the color will seep into the cracks that have been created and the cracks will get highlighted so that is my purpose of spraying the color here now further i am dry brushing with this uh, particular color it's a very lovely color from the chalk paints that is marsh green now i again i'm doing just dry brushing in bits and places where i want the texture to come out like over the cracks over the uh, raw wooden slices so basically the textures will get highlighted by doing so like uh, you know uh, so this is what i'm doing all throughout as you can see now uh, let me um, talk about my uh, likings for these products i do not kind of uh, do a work uh, where you know i uh, very little you see me doing a layering kind of a mixed media but i love to uh, play around with different mediums in a balanced way and add them to my project in order to give textures so here i am using all the mediums like the crackle paste the fiber paste uh, to give a lot of textures to the uh, entire project <coughs> Uh, continuing now see uh, the fiber uh, fiber paste again uh, needs a little bit of highlighting which I'm doing with the tinted metallic paint tawny glitz this uh, metallic paints from the store again are a great buy they have a lovely shine in them and you know you can um, use it in various ways there are a lot of post which show how to use them and uh, basically they are this shimmery paints which you can use in projects to highlight your textures and otherwise so i have done with kind of coloring that i wish to uh, later on i may do some highlighting but this is the overall coloring that i have done as of now and then um, coming to decoupage here now i can my projects cannot be complete without decoupage so here again um, i am doing this dimensional decoupage with clay so these are um, the, there are a1 uh, size papers in the store which have lovely prints so i have fussy cut butterflies out uh, sorry birds out of them and then i uh, am uh, putting the clay at the back of the paper as you have seen me doing it and then with the decoupage glue i have adhered it uh, wherever i wanted now if you observe carefully i applied clay only in the center part leaving the edges so that you know i have a scope to press it down properly if you take too much of clay inside then it may kind of uh, you know ooze out from everywhere so 
just leave the edges you uh, put the clay only in the central portion and then kind of press it according to the shape so that you know it bulges out in the right way and you get the dimension so then i have adhered birds on the roof and uh, a couple of sides now further was embellishing it for which i have used sisal fiber and with the sisal fiber um i wanted the flowers to hang so i kind of hang the sisal fiber first and then uh, the other flowers on it i have used even chippies now they are pre primed so you know you don't have to dress so them you can use it directly yeah because i wanted a rustic look i have just uh, not colored them and kind of directly use them and uh, the other everything with silicone glue now again this is a wonderful product which is uh, which adheres all kind of materials very instantly and with a great ease however if you are doing a layering work then i recommend to use heavy gel medium now <coughs> Uh, I have done that. I have um, used sisal fiber, chipboards, and uh, these uh, pretty handmade paper flowers from the store to do my embellishment. Now I felt that there was a need to have some more texture, so then I picked up embossing texture paste. Now this embossing texture paste um, has is available in different colors again, and then when you heat emboss it, you need a heat tool. Uh, it kind of puffs up, and you get a texture. And the color which you see, the actual also lightens when you heat it up. So basically, you get a textured effect. However, the textures further need to be highlighted, which uh, we will come to as we proceed. So here, if you see, I've done that embossing texture effect all throughout wherever I wanted, wherever I felt needs a you know joining. Now, uh, there are few gaps in the embellishment which I am covering up with some black beads, which I am adhering with soft gel medium. <laughs> It's a quick and easy way to adhere the beads, and um, adhering the beads kind of fill in the gaps wherever you feel that there are some gaps and you need some binding. Then, in that case, you could use beads and uh, beads of any kind, and you know, kind of fill in your gaps, and that will even add some more. some more texture and some more effect or some more depth to your entire project now as i said very the textures of the embossing texture paste need to be highlighted so here i'm doing again dry brushing with yellow onto the textures created by the embossing texture paste and uh, you know they get highlighted now this final dry brushing i'm doing over the texture paste with yellow and then throughout the bird house i've done it with gesso the uh, <coughs> dry brushing is very important because this is the one which is going to create oneness of the project and at the same time your flowers or some elements which are like kind of completely strong colors they will start getting toned down and it will look more natural so i have done that dry brushing throughout the entire bird house so here you see me again it has to be with very feather light strokes it has to be not very hard hardly you're not painting it basically you are just kind of highlighting and toning down wherever required so this is the final look of the bird house you know which i have used various mixed media mediums from the store i wanted to play with them but since a very long time and i completely enjoyed them now i like to alter objects but at the same time your i like utility products so i wanted to um, convert this bird house to a utility product and the idea was a lamp because there were many uh, spaces in the bird house where i could put in the light you know it would not be seen like the bottom and the top top side of the roof it would not be seen and at the same time my effect the light effect would come so that's where i have used strip lighting the led strip lighting and i have uh, which is having a self adhesion and i have adhered it throughout wherever on the entire on the bottom side of the roof and the base of the bird house so you see how beautiful it looks lighted so it's nice um, it gives me a, like a fairy land kind of an effect where you know i wanted to play with the mediums and um, uh, work on work with them they have been um, my hands were itching to work with the mixed media products from the store and your um, i have my creation where i have altered and bird house using them and at the same time i have done some dimensional decoupage as well um 
to uh, you know instead of uh, i thought instead of uh, putting some artificial birds i would uh, you know create a dimensional birds with them so here are again some pictures that you see and i've done some embossing on the sisal fiber as well with the white so um, i love the textures and the effects that are created with light as well so thank you for watching and um, do subscribe to my channel for more i would love to share with you guys and uh, thank you for watching Bye-bye.